Hello everyone, and welcome to the new series, Foxcraft, my, where I showcase things that we do on my private server, me and my friends. Uh, for one, I found my third wolf in this server, and the other one's vanished. Zach, let's see if you hang around. I'm going to leave you there, though. Do not touch him. Uh, there's a lot of things we've been doing. Uh, real quick, I want to show off what I'm working on right now. Remember the um, um, little town I was building? on the uh, KMB's Awesome Mess world. Well, I'm kind of rebuilding it here. Though it's... <laughs> I kind of should have chose something more flat, because I have to level out basically an entire landscape to get this to work out. Up there is going to be my mayor's house. I have that reserved right now. I don't have a sign up there, but I... If anyone builds up there, I'm going to take it down. <laughs> I'll also get around to putting a sign up there. I should be able to just do it now. Currently, I have, I'm have i allowing spawning materials, which is why I have, you know, di some diamond equipment. And I have freaking chain mail, <laughs> which is impossible to get in the game otherwise. Uh, let's see. Uh, one thing, I always give everyone a diamond sword so far because uh, the tiny bit of... That tree is not attached to anything. The tiny bit of uh, lag that the server has... Um, it's, you'll, you'll still get your, the, the crap beat out of you by any, any mob with, uh, with a diamond sword and full freaking diamond armor, so, yeah, I, I give the people swords. Trying out a few things here, I'm building supports because it's cool, you take advantage of the, uh, how you can, uh, stack, more easily stack, uh, fence posts. Uh, also, you'll notice that I have a diamond shovel and pick. Normally, I don't spawn these kind of items for myself, because I just... They're just ridiculously cheap to me. Oh, all the uh, junk disappeared. But you'll also notice the quality on both of these. I spawn the diamond pick to take care of a portal on the side of my castle. Thanks a lot, Keith. <laughs> Actually, I really did... I thought it was kind of neat, except it didn't go with what I was going with, so I had to remove it. I didn't like it there. Sorry. And the shovel. Both of these have been going, been destroyed by this project. I mean, jeez. And I've barely done anything with it. My inventory is, like, full of everything. Yes, I have fire, because it's cool. It just is, okay? All right, now I'm going to see if I can find a few of the few of my friends' stuff. So just a moment, and I will be, see if I can find some stuff of Keely. All right, so I found uh, Keely's place, which um, I accidentally blew up once. Creeper. Um, open. Thank you. I came in here and added this thing here just because I felt like it. And I kind of griefed this with the uh, paintings. I did this with a bunch of other people and I just went, <laughs> I want to keep doing this because it's stupid. Yee! <laughs> so I did. Um, honestly, there's not a lot to this. There's a downstairs, but I'm pretty sure that the, um, yeah, the. Did he fix? No. There's a broken uh, ladder there, so I want out. So I don't dare go down there uh, for fear of not coming out. Um, these are little hedges there. Just got, you know, just have a piece of wood underneath. And that's basically why you don't want to go down there. Is there's no way out. I'm going to get away from here before a creeper shows up and blows it away. Um, she said she was going to go ahead and build out in a nearby, uh, desert, which I assume is that desert over there. I assume. But, uh, since the last time I checked, I couldn't find anything of hers. Oh, what? Wait a second. This is something new. Sandstone bridges. Maybe this will lead me? No, it's gonna just stop right here. Ah! Those are, those are half sandstone block, 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 half sandstone blocks as well. Kinda neat, I guess. Alright, uh, just a little bit in here. Oh, whoa, I found it. I've never seen this one before, so I'm probably gonna miss a whole lot. And then you go, oh no, at me, and I'm like, ah, <laughs> and things like that. Oh, by the way, you've probably noticed by now that I am using uh, DokuCraft uh, High the, um, as a texture pack right now. I, I put it on for a little bit because I was like, yeah, you know what, I feel like it. And I just can't play it without it now. Um, I probably can. I just, I'm so used to it now. I'm playing with it 24-7, and it, I just love it. Keely? 
your freaking buttons and switches are fail. Sorry to tell you that, but they are. If there's a secret back here. Uh, I wonder if this is even done. Possibly, it's closed. Just a minute, so that you don't see what I'm about to do. Okay, inside, and really not much else here. Um, she's got chests full of stuff that's probably all actually really home-made, home-acquired instead of, like, cheated. Oh, this one works. I think that might have been the problem. And now this one should work. Yeah, that's what it is. She was, she was last in here, so she closed it. Well, then. That works. Um, there's ways to get around that, and I don't really know off the top of my head, because what that does is it's directly powered. The switch will, um... You know, that's all that's over here that I know of, so... Spawn. Hey, hey, sit back down. Sit back down. Oh, yes, over here, on, on my way to the next destination, there's this random wasteland that I found. This was generated like this, and it was tempting to try and build the ha the town here, but it, then it wouldn't really have the feel, and this is just really cool to just be a random nothing here. I think it's awesome. Alright, so uh, where I'm going should be close. I re just realized I went too far. You know what? Whatever. I'll uh, show this off first then. Oh yeah, over here, the, ti the tiny little uh, mini desert. It's just kind of awesome and tiny. It, 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 it came with a cactus. Just one cactus. And somewhere around here, I think there's a desert shrub. Yeah, right there. He's just he's just hanging out there. He's just chilling. Just chilling right there. Yeah, you can see it in the uh, distance. Or you can see a portal in the distance. Anyway, there it is. Come on, Lord! There we are. This is Keith's house. Keith from otherwise uh, on the server as Angel... 129, I think. I, I'm not... Or 5125? Five, five, something. I'm too lazy to go look it up right now. <laughs> and I'm not going to show, give you directly what it is, just so you don't bother. Uh, I guess. I don't know. Why don't I... Because I'm lazy, that's all. That's the only reason. Ever. He's done some stuff to this since the last time I've been on here. Uh, you may also recognize him as the player of uh, Kai in the D&D recap, which I haven't freaking caught up on for freaking years now. Um, uh, yes, it's getting... Wow, he's going to do some pretty cool stuff here. Um, there's a few things here. For one, there's a bunch of buttons on the wall. Oh, it doesn't do anything. Oh, it doesn't do anything. Well, I know which button it is. Oops. Yeah, it's this one. Because I built this door for him. Uh, and I... Get in there. There we go. I built the door for him. Uh, it's a simple uh, redstone setup like I have back in... Uh, back in uh, uh, KMB's Awesome S World. But with a pressure pl plate here to let you out. There we go. And let's go on up. Oh, he has a wolf, too. That might be my wolf. Nope, that's his wolf. Okay. He's a, he's a wood there. That was a pressure pad for a second. Reading room. This is... Whoa. Well, I'm glad I didn't misstep there. This is something that he's been adding. This is kind of neat. That's light stone right there, motherfucker. Light stone. Or whatever. I have a feeling what it is, it's going to go up in here. Fact? Oh, there's another door up upstairs. I'll use that to get in there instead of trying to cheat. <laughs> Alright, up here we have a fancy door here, opening. And right here is a fancy, fancy, fancy. That's, that's pretty cool. I love having just one pressure plate, because then you open the door and then you walk through it and it's easy for you and stuff. And it's close behind you. More stuff, places. Man, Dokocraft makes things look nice. 
uh, friend Max, or uh, who is also on the server, and uh, I'll be showing off his stuff next. Uh, he's using Doku Craft too. He's using uh, the Oop, there we go. Clouds. There we go. Interesting. Just switch up there. I'm afraid to touch it. Anyway, he's uh, he's using Doku. Max is using Doku Craft Dark, and uh, it's a evil looking feel of the same texture pack. It's pretty cool. I used to use it. Alright, that's the one that I tried out first when I tried Doku Craft first. And then I, and I normally was stuck with that. And I, I wasn't really impressed with it though, but um, this one I love. I love this one a lot. I like the glass a lot more. Alright, here he's. I, I'm really actually impressed with a lot of stuff Keith's done on here. I mean, for one, there, there are lots of simple things, but these steps here. Um. Who, who would have thought using half blocks instead of whole blocks so it looked like it went into the wall really nice? That looks like something that's actually on the side of real castles. It's just, oh, really nice. We I mean, jibs. Nice old big old bridge here. Pool that has crazy freaking uh, squids in it because squids spawn in like any water anymore. Stop touching! There's a portal to the nether. Um, it actually, um, the one that he built near my house, I think might have spawned there, actually. Um, and a bridge over here. It, uh, it actually connects to that one. I mean, you, you go in and out, and it's the same, it goes to this one. It, it, this is the exit portal for, like, all the portals right now. Which kind of bothers me. I, I haven't, I, portals, you ha still have to work really hard to make them work now. When they first came out, there was some glitteriness, but at least then it worked. This now you they they default to like one place, and it still bothers me. Whoa, lag! All right, so now that I've shown off Keith's place, oh, I I'm really ex I'm really excited to see what the heck he's gonna keep doing. It's you know the thing about Minecraft you know, Minecraft is you don't have to do something really fantastic to do something really cool. It can be really simple, and that's I, you know, yeah, it just depends on what you do. It can be innovative, it can be simple, it can be all sorts of things. Yay, god mode! I wanted to check something, I saw water flowing over here. There's also like a base somewhere that uh, Keith has. I'm not going to look it out because it's just a wooden hut last time I saw. Freaking gravel beaches, oh yeah! Gravel looks so ugly in this texture pack. <laughs> all right, see you at Scott at uh, uh, Scott G Russian and just quit quit for this place. All right, back. Uh, sorry, I actually had to do a little bit of server maintenance. It started to glitch out, and so I had to um, I had to stop it and, and then turn it back on. But uh, it's working now. Everything's going. Everything is going fine. Anyway, here is where. Um, uh, Scott G. Russian, otherwise known as Max, and his girlfriend Jessica, or just... I got those really backwards. Max is, the, Max is Max's real name. It's Scott G. Russian's real name. Jessica is just... real name. It's, it's a really weird spelling that she has for her username. Anyway, um, this is where they live, and I decided to troll them with paintings. They were, it was covering every square inch of, like, everything before, but it looks like they've been taking them down. I hope, I wish they hadn't for a little bit more, because I want to show off the, the insanity that I did here, that I, I did, before I was going to take care of it myself. I also threw down ice. <laughs> I was enjoying being an asshole. Hey. There we go. It's their insides. They're doing some pretty cool stuff here. Is this actually burning stuff? No, it's just infinitely burning. That's a glitch that sometimes happens. They have a double bed. Uh, they're also they they intend to make like the Bat Cave, and you know what? I support that so hardcore because I want to see it. Oh! Ah! <laughs> Just slightly too dark. Okay, so. Uh, there's not, really not too much here because they seem to be uh, just kind of playing around a little bit. I came in here when uh, back when it was barely anything, and I built up this way, and I built this for uh, for um, 
Scott. I'm just going to use the uh, use online name for most of these guys, except Keith, because I know him better as Keith. I I know Max better as Max too, but it's just easier to see. It. I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. Uh, uh, anyway. Uh, they've really been doing a lot of mining, and, uh, I don't really know... Well, I know where their mine is, because I helped put stuff together for it. For one, um, there's this, which, um, I know they're doing some stuff down here with. Yeah, that's a pretty impressive mine, actually. I threw torches like crazy, because I... F I was in a really trolly mood, uh... <laughs> A week ago, and that's... Yeah, I mean, really. I did this right next to... While well, I was sitting right next to Max. I'm like, don't... I basically kept saying, don't look over here. Don't look over here. Don't log in. Don't log in. Eventually... No! Damn it. Yeah. Alright, just a second. Because I can cheat. I am God. It's the awesome part of being the only admin. I can do things like that. Yes, I was going to say something else, but I really didn't want to. This is what I thought it was. Yeah, so really one of the things I'm to do, going to do is I'm going to clean up all these paintings because they're a bit of a pain for everybody else. And I think it's screwing with the server, so I'm going to go ahead and take them down. Easy way to do that is just a bucket of water. Actually, there might actually be a limit of paintings, and that's why some of these have came, or came off. Except, uh, I have them all along here, too, and those are the last ones I put in, so they should have stayed. Okay, uh, anyway, I'm gonna go clean these off. That's all I have to, uh, show right now. Uh, other than the fact that, uh, right up there used to be a thing where Keith was, and if you keep going that way, you find his house. Uh, pretty much. We're, aside from Keely, we're all pretty much in the same area. Keely's decided to go off into her own adventures, leaving us all behind. <laughs> So, yeah. Alright, anyway, like I said, for like the millionth time, that's all for now. And next time there's something cool in... Well, hold on, I forgot something. So, let, I forgot to show off my stuff. So, just a minute while I get all the way there. Alright, back here at spawn. By the way, I discovered something. Um, paintings don't wash off. Like I used to think. So, I really was spending the last, uh, quite a bit... Hey, not loaded yet. Quite a bit of time. See, look, they just stay there. Quite a bit of time cleaning up my trolling over there in uh, Scott and Jessica's area. There's no water. Go away. Uh, by the way, this little area here, it's uh, just a boathouse that Keith made, and I, I decided to um, turn it into spawn, because it's just kind of neat there. That's where everyone spawns now. Well, as long as Bucket's working. <laughs> Yes, I'm using Bucket. I'm using a lot of stuff through Bucket. I'm trying to get the hang of it and figure it out. One more, Another thing here that you probably have noticed is the one thing I've been working on for this entire time when I'm not trolling everybody else. That's this castle. I'm calling it, at least tentatively, Pillar Castle. This is because it's built on uh, several little natural pillars. I was like, I want to build something across this! And so I did it. Um, I planned some... I'm... Yeah, see, you can kind of see closer over here. This is also where uh, my little work base is. Okay. Hello, tree. That wasn't supposed to grow yet. It's growing like crazy. It's right there. Damn, damn. Right there. A little imposing. I tried to make, uh, make it look like it was uh, reinforced, but I didn't really do very well. In here is just a simple little area. I have down there is my uh, mine that I was just mining out when I just mining out. When I was just starting out, I decided I want to build a man. So I did, and I got a ton of iron out of it. This used to be out, you know, unenclosed, but then creepers kept destroying everything. Eventually, I was building with God mode on, and even then, everything gets destroyed. And it's just irritating. At that point, I I don't even care if I have God mode on. It's useless when everything's destroyed. Uh, elevator kind of city wipe. And up here is uh, my ma my uh, castle. First floor. I built this floor specifically for a reason. Uh, also, I'm going to turn on my uh, back on fancy. 
because I think uh, by taking down all those uh, paintings, my lag issue actually uh, fixed itself a little bit. In fact, over here I can check. No, we're still using up all, uh, full memory, so it's not that. It wasn't that. <laughs> so I was wrong. Uh, the big reason why I uh, built it this particular floor is it's right underneath the cloud layer. In fact, this little uh, outpost over here, which I built, uh, uh, it's the last thing I built here, uh, goes into the clouds, and it's kind of irritating. I built it to try and be able to see the, uh, see my mansion. Not mansion. It's not a mansion. The castle better, but I kind of, I didn't. I guess I could break off some of this. And the whole point of this is just so I can see my uh, castle better. There's, it's not like a real outpost or nothing like that where I would actually... Grrr! Well then, magical top! Yeah, it's not like a, a real encampment or something where I, I just realized there's no way to get back inside. Just a minute. No, stop flipping out on me. Not a real encampment that I would actually hold. Even so, it's, it's hard to get freaking uh, arrows up here anyway, though this would make it a lot easier. There. Now I can see my castle. That's what I wanted this for. So I'm gonna take a look at my magnificent castle. No, go down this ladder. Magnificent! Though it's extremely boring. It, it looks really nice because of the uh, texture pack, really. Um, was it here? No, it was the second floor. Right here, this floor, as you can see, is perfectly within the uh, cloud layer. It's it's usually, like, misted up because of that. Like, you know, this is in the way. I kind of wish clouds would uh, make everything misty. Like, you know, this entire room in here would now have a little bit of white mist to it because I'm inside the cloud. But no, nope, they're just, they're hollow blocks, which kind of just more. Uh, back here, there's actually a door. I was meant to have this an iron door, uh, which gives me a really nice view of uh, the surrounding area. Uh, it's just kind of a little view. It's like come out here and sit, you know, when I just want to be want to be alone. Why is this sand here? I think that sand's there for protection because I didn't want anyone falling off randomly. This is really easy. Getting out of the cloud layer again. This is a very basic room. There's no paintings here for a reason because this is the uh, this is the battlements basically. This is where um, uh, a lot of the the archers will hang out. A lot of the treasure room will be. You know, I'll look. <laughs> listen to me. I'm actually think I'm actually talking like I'm actually going to develop this more. <laughs> Uh, I really like this. I basically made a movement here uh, between the battlements and the um, and the tower, the last part, of the, the last tower. And uh, I like that a lot because I'd originally um, just thought, oh, I'll just build it straight up on the outside, and I was like, no, 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 no. Or oh, I'll just put battlements against it, and it looks really lame. This made it, I think, look, made it look a lot better. Up here is an actual defensible location. Um, it's designed to be defensible. We have our my little chandelier thing here. Uh, the basic chandelier, anyway. A real chandelier would probably use uh, glowstone. Up here is then the top of the castle. I really wanted to make sure to get this. That's why I actually counted out and, um, in fact, come on. Yeah, right there. That's the end of the build layer. Right there. I don't know what, how how that worked then. That's like the that's like the build layer top right there. Though apparently I I don't know why it's, it let me put torches up there. It's, whatever. Yeah. And from here I can see everything, everything everywhere. This is where I get a really really good view. I can't see everything everywhere. I mean even far render distance actually has a. Uh, limit on a server because it'll just cut off like that, which is disappointing. And on a far, right? Yes, I am. Dang. Oh well. Like I said, this I love this. Uh, everything here is just pretty. All right, so that's all we have for now. Um, as soon as there's anything really reputable, or if somebody wants to um, 
get on at the same time, maybe Skype with me, and we'll reco do recording. He, they can show me directly around what they were thinking about it, that kind of stuff. I can totally, I'm planning to do that a few times. I can easily do that with my recording setup. It's just, it's inherently, inherently will do that. This would be really nice. I'll be able to look out over that, over the city when it comes out. It's going to be a huge city, I think. Um, I'm probably going to have it uh, go up off until it around the point where it hits the wasteland right over there and then uh, over there maybe I'll have a maybe I'll have a dark forest somewhere I want to make another dark forest oh something I really want to show off real quick though we god mode right here is another anomaly I, I was wondering about doing something over here if anyone has any idea what to build here I want to build over it and then like maybe a pit or something under it I don't really know what to build there. I'd like to build something. Anyway, um, I am now stuck, so I'm gonna go to slash home, slash spawn, so that, um, Zach's still here. Cause he, uh, when you teleport, usually the wolf will teleport with you. And, yeah, even if they're sitting down sometimes. Anyway, that's all I, I just wanna show that off. Um, show off this progress. I'm probably not gonna work on this for a while. I want to build a couple other things real quick, um, and then I'm going to come back to this. Also, got to get rid of those trees. Fire doesn't spread right now, and I don't know why. <laughs> anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this like hour-long video of me just showing off junk, uh, and uh, enjoy um, or something, and enjoyed it. Uh, any suggestions you have for what we can do or what you should do or something like that, you can go ahead and leave them in the comments. I will, I may or may not reply to them. Uh, if they're directed towards other, uh, to specific uh, uh, players, which is, you know, Keely, uh, Keith, and then Scott and Jessica, uh, you can go ahead and say to Jessica or to Scott or who is Max. I'm sorry, I call him Scott because whenever we play in the same game, I always just call him by the username Scott, D. Rushing. So yeah, uh, if you have any suggestions for any of us, then you can go ahead and throw them in the comments. I'll direct them to it, and if they care or they want to do anything with it, they'll either do it or they'll comment against it or whatever. It's in that situation, it's their it's their choice. They can do what the hell they want. If they want to diss you, then they can diss you. They probably won't because they're real. They're all nice people, but you know. Set. Wow, does the moon change? Anyway, um. So that's it uh, for the 150th time because I can't end videos. Real quick on Star Ocean. Ah! All right, done.